Okay, so switching gears now. The last part of Thor that we need to look at is its step sequencer down right at the bottom. It looks a little bit like redrum, so the learning curve mm, probably shouldn't be that big. I've loaded up Epic Poly, and we're going to concentrate on the step sequencer down here. And we'll click on run. Drum roll, please. You ready? Absolutely nothing happens. That's because we've got to get up to the top of Thor and actually turn it on right here. And then we also need to set it to run uh, in any one of these fashions. We'll look at this in a little while to set it to repeat. And we'll click on run. We need that volume down a little bit. And all we're hearing is just a bunch of C3 notes at 16th note intervals that are synced to the tempo of our song. Now to actually make this work a little bit better, let's choke down the release. So these notes are a little shorter. And in fact, let's just take off the delay. Okay, what does it sound like now? Great, now just like Redrum, we can turn these notes on and off. We can do the same thing with the notes. We can tune the notes. We can do the same thing with velocity, give each of these guys, maybe this is a really hard velocity, and these guys have increasing velocity. And big velocity. We can do the same thing with gate length, uh, step duration. Actually, these last two here, curve one and two, probably need a little bit of an explanation. Curves one and two don't actually uh, play anything. They're just used as a source to modulate any uh, parameter that you want. Uh, imagine that you wanted to have maybe 16 different settings of your filter that just cycle around and around and around. Easy as pie. Let's start from scratch by right clicking here and initializing this patch. Now I want to just select the decay on this amp and set it all the way to max so this note will just play indefinitely. I'll just turn it down a bit here. Okay, now let's concentrate down here on the step sequencer and I want to select curve one as my edit mode. That means that we're going to be giving different amounts to everything within step, uh, sorry, within curve number one. You're thinking, big deal, I don't, don't even know what curve one is. Well, just hang with me for a little while. I could go through and give all of these knobs a different amount or I could simply right click here and randomize sequencer pattern. Now you notice that all these guys have random um, amounts on each of these knobs. And this can now, this curve one can now be set as a modulation source to do something. Okay, stay with me. Okay, what we're going to do is scroll all the way up here. The source, if you go all the way down here into step sequencer, check it out. You can select curve one as your modulation source. So all of these knobs steps, all of these steps knobs, or isn't that right? Yeah, all of these steps knob values can now modulate just like LFOs can or modulation envelope. All of these guys can actually do something. So let's actually route them to the frequency of our filter. So uh, let me scroll down here. We'll go along here to filter one frequency and we'll max that out at 100. Now I'll set the step sequencer to repeat and run it. But here's the thing, I don't want these notes to play. So let me turn off step sequencer so that we won't hear any of the notes. Rather, when we run this, this will just cycle through all these parameters and this will go through to our filter frequency. Now check out what will happen. <laughs> so at any given point right here, this guy is opening up the frequency right here. This step here is closing the frequency. This one's opening up maybe a third of the way. This one's opening it more. This one's closing it. 
And as you run through, very, very cool. Instant R2-D2. Anyway, I hope this gives you kind of an idea that the step sequencer is just a set of steps that give a value to something. It might be notes, it could be routed through to a parameter, say like we saw the filter frequency or anything else uh, for that matter there. The step sequencer absolutely rocks, I love it. Let's finish out by looking at the last few settings on it. You can set it to go through just one step at a time when you run it or one shot, so it'll just run from the beginning all the way to the end and then just stop, or you can set it to repeat. And it'll just go through these guys back and forth and loop around. Now, if it is set to repeat, you can have it to repeat in a forward loop, reverse loop, in two different pendulum swings, which will swing from the left and then to the right, like that there's two different pendulum swings that you can do and then also random which will just randomly go through all these different steps